Coming up next on This Week in Torrance, you won't believe how old you have to be to join this exclusive club. Then it's gaining a lot of popularity with users young and old. We'll tell you about one summer program offering a unique approach to good health and exercise. Plus, a birthday celebration not to be missed by friends, family, not even the mayor. And a misdiagnosed condition gets discovered in the nick of time. We'll share this story and tips that can help with your health. These stories and much more are just seconds away. Your local news starts right now. Hello everyone and welcome to This Week in Torrance. I'm Jin Chun. Thanks for joining us. Here are your top stories. Despite recent budget cuts, the Torrance Unified School District proved their quality of education wouldn't be affected. According to the Academic Performance Index scores in Torrance, rose from 829 to 869 over the last five years. During that period, finances fell from approximately $220 million to $170 million. Now this begs the question of whether or not money matters. Superintendent of Torrance Unified, George Mannon believes the rise in Torrance's scores are a reflection of the community and the expectations parents put on their children. Taking the bigger picture into consideration, Mannon says the link between money and performance generally validate each other. Now, beginning this fall, that belief will be tested as all Torrance, as all school districts in California, will get an influx of money thanks to Proposition 30 and the local control funding formula. Torrance Unified will have an increase in revenue to around. 186 million. This will aid in the hiring of at least 44 more teachers this fall as classrooms are among the most crowded in the area surpassing 40 students. With the surge in funds, academic performance is expected to rise with it and even more good news is on the horizon as Governor Jerry Brown's funding formula calls for an even larger increase for school budgets by 2020. With student test scores and school budgets going up in Torrance, the same cannot be said for home ownership in the United States, which came in at just over 65 percent, the lowest since 1995. As a lingering effect of the recession, Americans continue to shift toward renting. Now, while the housing market is improving, economists believe the recovery is partly being driven by investors who are buying empty homes and converting them to the rental markets. One community offering a great housing situation can be found at Spring Senior Living, which provides care for the elderly who are in need. The center shows great hospitality to anyone who lives there, and the birthday of a longtime resident brought out their devotion of caring for others even more. Reporter Jennifer Hua has the story. Helping others is one of the major values that the Spring Senior Living Center in Torrance abides by. Our business is we are here to help seniors and their families live happier and healthier lives. The center is dedicated to providing long-term care and hospice services and has caregivers on duty 24 hours a day, seven days a week. In order to make each day an enjoyable one for residents, fun programs and activities are also provided. As you can see on our calendar, we have like chair exercise classes, bingo, dominoes, pet therapy, music classes that we're starting on Thursdays and cultural classes on Mondays. These accommodations and the friendly staff members help make the center's mission statement true, especially with the 102nd birthday of longtime resident Levon Wallace as a testament. I love everybody. Everybody's nice smiling, helpful to me for anything I want to do. They're always there to help me. Wallace's family showed up to wish her a happy birthday, and Mayor Frank Scotto also joined in on the celebration. But to really show their passion of caring for others, the staff members made sure not to miss the big event. We're all very excited today and very blessed. Even caregivers that are off today came in because they wanted to be with Levon. Wallace loves to participate in the center's daily activities with some of her two favorite things to do. Being pleasant at all times, helpful to people. And that's something she has in common with Spring Senior Living. For This Week in Torrance, I'm Jennifer Hua. Spring Senior Living has been in operation for about 30 years. The center takes client referrals any time of the day, seven days a week. For more information on Spring Senior Living and the services they provide, visit springseniorassistedliving.com. 
Coming up, Torrance libraries continue to prove reading is so delicious with their summer programs. And if you're between 85 and 89 years old, you're only considered a trainee for this particular group. We'll fill you in when we come back. All the preparation, the training, it all comes down to this. To be a winning team, you have to work like a winning team. We have a job to do out here today. Some people think it's about muscle, but it's really about heart. A lot of heart. My team depends on me. And my team is 50,000 strong. Looks like a lot of work's going into this. what it feels like to be part of a team. A winning team. The action team. Get in on the action at actionteam.org. Are you in? Where do you think you're going? Is your body holding you back? I want to go running. Not with that knee, you're not. I'm fine. Negative. Your bones and joints can say no at any age. <laughs> with that shoulder, you're going to pick up that truck. Really? Keeping you from working, playing, or just plain moving. Let's not, uh, pick her up. What do you say? Yet a lot of people who live with pain fight back. Use your head. Save your back. My pride. My rules. And regain their lives. You gotta be kidding me. Whoa. I'm going running. I'm going running. I got to see this. Go on, pick it up. Fight for your mobility. Find your own inspiration at a nationinmotion.org. A message from the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. Come on. I'll take it from here. The Roaring 90s Club made its debut nearly a decade ago, and at their ninth annual Country Western Hoedown, they celebrate fellowship and an unexpected reunion. Here's Asia Charles with the story. 80 guests dressed the part at the Salvation Army of Torrance for the Country Western Hoedown, hosted by the Roaring 90s Club of the South Bay. I'm a country girl, and as you can see, country girls rock the world. <laughs> and so naturally, it's true to my heart, and uh, everyone loves it. And the good thing is they can all dress up and have fun with it. This social club for the elderly has been added for 10 years, and founder Lynn Brennan says the nine-year theme has always been a hit. Everyone just has a wonderful time because they can meet and fellowship with their peers, and really that's the purpose of the 90s club. And one member was about to experience just that. Maxine Trevethan thought this year's celebration was going to be like the times before, until she sees the face of a student she taught nearly 40 years ago. I enjoy coming here because I get to see some of the people that I don't get to see every day. Irene Henriksen sat with her mother three chairs away from Trevethan when the bright face caught Henriksen's attention. I said, where did you work? And she said, oh, I taught business at El Camino College. Well, I took business from her way back when, in 63 uh, to 65, she was my shorthand business English teacher. This small reunion excited both women. Well, it's a small world, and it was a really thrill, I believe, for her to see one of her students. And uh, it was thrilling for me, too. I mean, how often do you run into something like, you know, very, very, it was just fun. Brennan says these little ironies are the very essence of the club. This program has been phenomenal because, as one of the 90-plus-year-olds said, before this club, no one paid any attention to us, but now we're getting recognition. So when the fabulous age of 90 approaches your doorstep, remember there's a place you can party it up and maybe, just maybe, see a familiar face from your pleasant past. For This Week in Torrance, I'm Deja Charles. Along with celebrating their 10-year anniversary, the club also honored the opening of their new chapter in Long Beach. For more information on the Roaring 90s Club and its upcoming events, visit solutionsforseniorliving.com. The summer reading programs continue at Torrance Libraries with an event that uses technology to help kids stay in shape. Reporter Shannon Murphy has the details. 
Reading exercises your mind. Now it's time to exercise your body at the Katie Geisert Civic Center Library. We decided to do a Wii Fitness program because this year's theme for summer reading is reading is so delicious. So we're encouraging healthy eating as well as activity, you know, throughout the summer reading program. That's right, the library's Reading is So Delicious program offers a variety of events this summer to keep everyone engaged. One library goer particularly likes the workout of controlling her digital self at the Wii Fitness Fun event. You're controlling basically yourself on the screen. It's, it's just pretty cool to basically see yourself up there do, doing whatever you do like a mirror. It's just awesome. <laughs> Librarian Carrie Wilson hopes the use of gaming technology attracts kids that might not normally think about stepping into the book fortresses. You know, gaming is very popular with teens and it brings new kids into the library. Kids that wouldn't ordinarily think, oh hey, there's something for me to do at the library, will come after school because they know that we're going to do um, a Wii event. So far, the program has been a success in keeping teens active and opening up a whole new way to experience the library. These programs that we do for teens are incredible. We do notice that, you know, the more the merrier. So I would say to teens out there, if you have some free time this summer, come over to the library and participate in our programs. For This Week in Torrance, I'm Shannon Murphy. Thanks, Shannon. The Torrance Library offers summer reading programs for children to adults. Visit torrenceca.gov for more information and a list of upcoming events. National Night Out Against Crime is celebrating its 30th anniversary and you're invited to the party. During the event, the Torrance Police Department is promoting their See Something, Say Something campaign by encouraging residents to get involved with their local neighborhood watch groups and to not be afraid to report potential criminal activity. This annual event has proven to be an effective and fun program to promote neighborhood spirit and police community partnerships in the fight against crime. With more than 400 active neighborhood watch groups in Torrance, National Night Out celebrates their work with various events and activities including block parties, barbecues and visits from local police. On average, 25 to 30 block parties are set up for the community and law enforcement to come together in support of neighborhood watch. National Night Out is Tuesday, August 6th. To participate, contact your local neighborhood watch group. For more information, visit nationaltownwatch.org or police.torrentca.gov. Coming up after the break, a local resident is unaware of a chronic condition that could have claimed his life. We'll tell you his story when we come back. Well, I was in the military. I served my country. I did my job. But as a veteran with a disability, I was worried about my career prospects. Voc Rehab helped me roll up my sleeves and get back to work took my professional development to the next level with vocational counseling and education. Showed me a bright future, even though my sight was damaged in combat. And helped me see that success after the service is possible. Voc Rehab offers counseling, training with a living allowance, education, and other services to help prepare you for your next mission. found every hazard out here today? Think again. The spot you missed could be a killer. That spot on your skin could be skin cancer. Fact is, if you're a man over 50, you're in a group most likely to develop skin cancer, including melanoma, the kind that kills one person every hour. One in five Americans is likely to develop a form of skin cancer during their lifetime. That's why your best shot is to check for a spot. It's easy. Follow through and check your skin. It could be the save of a lifetime. Go to spotskincancer.org to find out how. A message from the American Academy of Dermatology. Get ready for downtown Torrance to transform into a fun summertime block party. On August 11th, it's time for the 2013 Summerfest, benefiting the Toberman Neighborhood Center and presented by Chef Schaefer and the Depot. The event features dancing in the streets, a martini, wine and beer bar, dinner buffet, auctions and much more. Tickets are $100 and can be purchased by calling 310-832-1145, extension 119 or at toberman.org.
The Friends of the Torrance Library have invited writer Stephen Roderick to speak about his newest book, The Magical Stranger, A Son's Journey into His Father's Life. Come to the Katie Geyser Civic Center Library on August 14th at 7 p.m. to meet the author and hear firsthand about this moving story of love and sacrifice, fathers and sons, heroism and duty, soldiers, and the families they leave behind. For more information, visit library.torrentca.gov. Every month, Children's Hospital Los Angeles needs 2,000 units of blood to help treat its patients. Now you can do your part at their upcoming blood drive. On August 21st, from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m., you can donate blood at the South Bay Care Center located at 3440 Torrance Boulevard, Suite 100. You must be 17 or older, weigh over 110 pounds, come well hydrated, and eat a good meal. And don't forget your picture ID. To book an appointment, call 310-303-3890. Now let's go out to the sports desk where Juan Hernandez has a preview of what's to come. Juan? Hey there, always good to see you folks on This Week in Torrance. Thanks for stopping on by the sports desk. This week on the show, what started out with over 100,000 athletes worldwide has been funneled down to just over 100 of the fittest men and women on the planet. And they're all coming here for the annual CrossFit Games. Plus, Bishop Montgomery has a proud tradition throughout their athletic department. Meet some fresh faces in the Knights Gymnasium that will be leading the ladies in black and gold in the chase for the Del Rey League titles. And you know by now when and where to find us when you want to see those stories from around Torrance. It's the Sports Desk every day at 4 p.m. and 9.30 p.m. on City Cable 3. Back to you. Thanks, Juan. Sitting too much at work? Well, you may want to get up and stretch your legs after this report. Deja Charles is in the studio to share a unique story that could save your life. Deja? Thanks, Jen. Around 70,000 Americans die from this chronic condition every year. I got a chance to meet a local resident who beat the odds and shared his story with us. Let's take a look. At the age of 27, Ruben Lopez didn't think too much of his cold symptoms. Started off with like a dry cough, you know, and uh, pretty much over the counter cough medicine wasn't working. And uh, it came up to a point where I was coughing so much that I started coughing up blood. Lopez went to the emergency room where doctors treated it as a common respiratory condition. They were kind of diagnosing it as uh, bronchitis. Both shortness of breath and excessive dry cough caused Lopez to pass that at work, leading him to see a medical specialist. A CAT scan showed enlargement on the right side of the heart, confirming chronic pulmonary embolism as the cause, a condition where blood clots travel from the lower region of the body to the lung. You look at the pulmonary arteries, and then they inject the contrast and they could see that there were clots in those arteries. Blood work suggested Lopez's clots were caused by a rare hereditary condition where the thickness of his blood forms blockages. Dr. Lurie says clotting is most common when the blood is not moving and being active is the first method of prevention. Move your legs the best you can because the muscles in your legs as you move will compress those veins and help get the blood going up and avoid stagnation. Lopez is on blood thinning medication for the rest of his life, but says he is grateful because the outcome could have been worse. I think uh, my heart would have gave out. Yeah, I think it would eventually, that's what they're saying, I think within a few years, I think my heart would have, would have gave out. A thought Lopez will never take for granted. Doctors say if you experience symptoms like unexplained shortness of breath or chest pain to get checked out immediately. Along with exercise, a low-sodium diet will help decrease the chances of blood clotting. Now, Deja, what are the chances if you've already been diagnosed and treated for a blood clot, what are the chances of it coming back? That's a good question. According to the CDC, about 33% have reoccurrence in 10 years. So it's very important to maintain doctor's visits and to follow their advice. Thanks, Deja. Well, that's going to do it for us on This Week in Torrance. I'm Jin Chen. If you've missed any portion of our show, you can catch us again at 11 a.m. and 6 p.m. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.